In this video, I will be showing you how to make this um, seal pup here. So I'm going to make him this exact same color, the white. And you're going to mainly use white and some blues for the eyes and some blacks. So let's get started. Once again, we're going to need a hook or something to hold his um, limbs. And let's get, let's start with the eyes. So for the eyes, we're going to take, I'm going to make it blue. So I'm going to take a single blue rubber band and wrap it around four times around your hook. I'm going to take a single white and we're going to wrap twice on one side and twice on the other. That's for one eye. And for the other eye, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take a single blue, wrap it around four times around your hook take a single black and the same thing wrap it around twice on one side of the eye and twice on the other and now since the eye is going on the body we're going to take a single white get it on your hook and I use my middle finger to kind of keep it tension there so it doesn't come off your hook and go ahead and grab all your eye parts right onto the rubber band the white rubber band and try to keep it in that order so that way our eyes look dough like and you can always fix it once you get onto the rubber band just pull one part over and then scooch the other one down and pull that right onto your hook I mean your rubber band pull it off the hook and onto the rubber band. And once you have it on there, go ahead and transfer it onto your holding hook. And always use a, um, a metal hook. For my animals, it seems like um, the rubber band breaks a lot or there's a lot of capping going on and so the, the, um, the hook breaks, the plastic one at least. And now let's make his front um, flippers here. And for that, we can use a loom. And we can use the end of the loom. So you want to take first take three single rubber bands and put it from the second, from the third to the second from the top. Then we're going to take two single rubber bands, put it from the second to the first, and we're going to cap it off three times. And we'll do another one for his other flipper. Again, it's three single rubber bands from the third to the second pin. And then from the second pin to the bottom pin there. And then capping it off three times. Two, three. And then go ahead and take your hook and go under the cap bands. Grab the bottom two, hold the cap bands, pull it over and onto itself. Repeat on the other one. And if you can't see it, pull it out to the side and grab it. I'm doing this sideways so it's a little harder for me, which slows me down, which is good for you. So now take it off and onto your holding hook. There's his front fins. And now let's do his nose. And for his nose, we're going to take a single black rubber band. We're going to loop it around four times around your hook. Then take a single white double it, get it on your hook, and you can pull it right onto that rubber band and then loop it onto itself. And you can do this on the loom also, just take a single white rubber band, double it and put it on the last two peg there, then um, cap it off four times and loop it over. 
and then take a single rubber band and just slip it through like that. Same on the loom, just take a single rubber band and to hold to put on his face for later and that's his little nose. Go ahead and put it aside and now we're ready to do his body. So for the body we're going to use two single rubber bands unless I state otherwise from the top where the arrow is to the side and you can do either side whichever side you want to do and come one down then from the second peg we're going to go to the center for the chin and we're going to go ahead and push it down so it does not overlap because we are making room for um, more rubber bands. It's going to be a lot of rubber bands on that chin peg there. So we're doing the other side now all the way to the chin. Now we're creating a hexagon or a little circle there. And now let's finish the center of the face from the center peg where the arrow is down one and all the way to the chin. Always two single rubber bands. Okay, now you have that and you want to push it all the way down, making sure it does not overlap. Now let's do his body. We're going to start from that center chin to the outside, one peg diagonally, and then we're going to come down two. And you can use either side. And go ahead and after this fifth peg, come to the center and this is where his tail is going to be and we're going to stack a lot of rubber bands also so for the like the neck chin peg there we're going to push everything down for the um, tail peg again let's do the other side from the chin to the side whichever side you haven't done and down two again two rubber bands two singles and from the side to the center where the tail peg is. And let's finish the center of the body. From the chin peg, push it down a little bit. You don't want your rubber bands to come off. And then down the center of the body. If you want his body poofier, you can add more than one rub two rubber bands, but I'm just going to use two here. So that completes his body. And now we are going to do the tail. And this, we're, first we're going to start with one single rubber band. The only time we're going to use one single and put it from the tail peg to the one below it in the center. And now we're going to do two rubber bands. Push everything a little bit down, not too smush and not overlapping. From the tail peg, center tail peg to the side and one down. Same thing on the other side. We are going to put from the tail peg to the side and one down. Like that. And now we can cap off the tail peg here, this one and this one, with three by looping it around three times on each of those pegs. Two, three. Okay. Now we can put on his nose. My eyes is stuck on there. I should have put it on a different side. But anyways, let's put on his nose. The nose goes onto the second peg from the top, the second side peg, and center it. Just pull the arm off if yours is on the same hook side of the eye as I am. Just put it aside. It's not going to come out. We'll do that later. And now let's add the eyes onto the, your face. And we're going to put it on the exact same peg. The center. I mean the second from the top. And then we're, once you have that, 
we're going to pull it, the eye rubber band, above that second center peg. And we're going to split the eyes out. So that's what your baby should look like, your pup, your seal pup should look like so far. And now let's put on some holding rubber bands. We're going to take a single rubber band, put it around the eye peg, making a triangle with the nose, taking another single, putting it on the chest area here, and now we're going to take another single, we're going to double it, and we are going to put it in a triangle there, right below here. Let's do another single here, just to make it a little poofier. So in this triangle here, right above the single we double, we put two rubber bands there. So we have a single rubber band which we loop to the triangle here, two single rubber bands on this chest area here, one single that we doubled here to make his tail a little thinner towards his, or his body a little thinner toward his tail. And then we're going to take two single rubber bands. You can make your seal any color, your baby seal pup here, any color. I'm doing white. So the last two single rubber bands, we're going to put it from this peg to that peg. That's what you have. And now we're ready to loop. So go ahead and reach inside the tail peg here. Either one, grab the bottom two rubber bands, make sure the cap bands doesn't come up and looping it onto itself. Go ahead and do the other side, reach in, get your rubber band around the pins and looping it onto yourself, itself, creating teardrops. And go ahead and grab that center single rubber band and bring it onto itself, onto the tail center peg there. And now let's continue on the side, pull everything back, and grab the bottom two rubber bands, and looping it right onto that tail peg, and reach on the other side, pull everything back, grab the bottom two, and bring it onto itself. There. And now we're going to reach into that tail peg there. Reach in carefully, pull everything back, and grab the top two rubber bands, which should be the center ones. Go ahead, pull it up, and you see the teardrop forming, and looping it onto itself. Reach back in there, grab the next two, and mine is coming to the left here. And then the last two, bottom two, should go to the right. And let's work up the side of the body. Reach in, pull all that holding rubber band back. Grab the bottom two. Make sure you push everything back to grab that bottom two rubber band. And looping it onto yourself, creating teardrops. And come up to the shoulder and stop there and work on the other side. Same thing, reach inside, grab the bottom two, looping it onto itself, and stop at the shoulder. And now we are going to add his arms. So, you're going to take the little front flippers onto your hook, get it through the loops, get all your rubber bands on there, grab a shoulder, the shoulder rubber band and slip your arms right onto that rubber band and then looping it right onto the chin peg there. Try not to lose a grip on it. It'll slip right off. And if this one comes off, just go ahead and loop it right back onto that peg. Go ahead, do the same thing on the other side. Get your hook through all the loops here for your front flippers. Grab your rubber band, hold the other ones down so it doesn't come off the peg. Pull 
your flippers onto that rubber band and looping it right onto that chin peg. There his arms are on and now we can finish up the center of the body. Go ahead and reach in, pulling it onto itself, creating teardrops. Again, right up to the chin. If you push it down a little bit if it wants to come out because there's a lot of rubber bands right now on that chin peg. So now go ahead and pull everything back. We're going to work on the face and reach to get the top two rubber bands and should be the ones that's going up on the nose. Great thing, that teardrop you see moved and looping it onto itself. And pull the nose up. You can fix it and pinch it later to create that little nose of his. Grab the next two rubber bands, and mine's going to the right. Whichever way yours is going, just take it there. Go. And then the last two rubber bands and onto itself and now we're going to add the cheeks so once you have these on there grab a single rubber band loop it four times around your hook grab either cheek you want slip your rubber band that's on there the four looped ones and put it right back on your cheek um, peg. So now take another single, loop it around your hook four times, grab the other cheek, slide the rubber bands on there, and there. Looping it back onto itself. Now your cheeks are on and we can finish the face. Go ahead and reach in, grab the bottom two so all your teardrops are catching your rubber bands to hold your animal together. Do the other side. And if your rubber band, you can't see it, it's tangled, go ahead and pull the outside that way and it'll come out so you can see where what you're working with. Go ahead and finish up the forehead first. And now let's loop up the center of the face, the forehead, and we're done. Or almost done. We have to do the slip knot. But before you go on, just look on your animal, your bit pup here, to make sure he has teardrops all over and making sure those teardrops are catching the rubber bands. And take a single rubber band, put it your hook inside the forehead there. Reach all the way under. Grab your rubber band to create your slip knot. Gently, carefully pulling it. Now you're ready to take them off the loom. Go ahead and use your hook to aid you in prying off your seal pup here. Again, you can do any variation of colors for your pup. I did white in the for adult one. I did add a little gray on his fins and tails. It'll all be cute. So there he is, your little seal pup. You want to pull his arms, pull his body back, pull his neck, the front of his neck, if you want his face to arch up more, pull out his nose that's buried in there, pinch it. So there's a little button nose there and pull out his eyes and fix it and just go ahead and keep pulling and tugging at him until he's in the shape that you want and you can tuck this charm string 
in behind him or you don't have to but there he is and there's the big guy thanks for watching